So I've been in a pretty much constant state of war against backyard pests for the better part of five years, and the leader of this rodent empire is the squirrel. To the delight of many snowflakes in the comments though, the squirrels fought back last night. I was in my office when I heard a loud thud coming from the opposite corner of the house. What happened on social media this morning is the possibility of a sonic boom that was heard all across central Florida from Orlando over to Tampa. Now there is a viewer who did send us this video. Listen very closely about five seconds in. You can hear that sonic boom. So I raced out thinking a tree had come down or something, and this is what I found. About a 70 foot section of a really, really cool custom brick fence had come tumbling down. I was trying to figure out a plan to protect all the windows in our family room, but I really didn't want to get in between my house and that fence as I could tell the rest was going to fall at any point. So instead, I grabbed a rope with about 1200 pound breaking limit and I tied off the last big column of this fence, which was leaning directly towards one of the windows over to a big oak tree in my neighbor's backyard. So there wasn't much else I could do, so I headed in, and like most nights, I turned my attention back to the table for one. First up was that rat. It was a quick shot with a 25 cal SU2, and now there's one less back there. Although, uh, that guy's in multiple parts, so depending on how you look at things. Uh, that 25 smacking a rat, though, is like a dinner bell for both the possums and raccoons. But it was this bully who showed up first. Uh, I let him clean up the rat bits first, and I have to say, this guy was doing a pretty good job. He was getting every last piece of that rat off the table for one. I watched from my office as he was doing this, uh, and then I grabbed my Dirty 30 Leshy 2 this time, and I quietly worked my way down to the sniper hide, as this bully's attention was locked in on finding the remaining bits of that rat. And when I was ready, I gave that little patented Leshy kiss, and then I put a 33 grain NSA bullet right into the dome. With that bully down, my mind went back to the fence as I went to bed. So it was a terrible night's sleep because my mind was racing trying to figure out what happened. Hmm, how could this happen? How could this happen? Squirrels. It's those evil squirrels, those damn tree rats. I know it was them. It has to be them, but how? How could a gang of tree rats knock down a 2,000 pound brick fence? How? As I eased out of bed, although sluggish, I woke with clarity and a nagging reminder outside my bedroom who was the guilty party. I got dressed and I headed outside to investigate. My neighbor actually came out to help. This is actually her fence, so she obviously has a vested interest. And so after sleeping on it, I presented my theory. Six months earlier... In September, I heard a huge crack, it sounded like lightning, uh, but it was a bluebird day. And I walked out seeing this ginormous crack in the fork of this tree right where it split into these two massive trees in their own right. This thing is a huge 120 plus year old oak, and it came down in her yard as a result of this crack. But how did that crack happen? Well, it was the direct result of a clan of tree rats hollowing out a huge bunker within that fork of the tree. They eventually took 30,000 pounds of oak tree piece by piece down, but the last section, which was about 25, 30 feet, had to come down in one go. They put a bunch of tires down to try to dampen the energy, but it just shook the house and, more importantly, the foundation of that fence right next to it. So it took a little time, but eventually that fence came down. I'm just thankful one of my kids wasn't standing there. So, while my neighbor was writing a $7,500 check to rebuild that dang fence, I was busy deciding which March optics should I put on my new Steyr Pro-X Scout. The FX 5-42 wide angle, the 5-40, the 1.5-15, or the ATN Excite 4K Pro. Why? Well, it's payback time.
yes, I'm aware, a few of those triple and quad attempts didn't quite hit the mark, but sometimes you just need to go full send with a little spray and pray on these tree rats to send a little bit of a message. Mikasa is not Tukasa, you dumb squirrel. And with a little help with these next few shots, and the fact that I didn't have to pay for the damage that they just did, that was my neighbor's check, we move on to another day, the Egunleshi household. If you like seeing backyard bully dirt naps, you're probably going to want to watch this video next.